Welcome to the last Cursed Airsoft of 2023. Of course, we got more Cursed Airsoft replicas to look at. Before we start, though, did you know that 97% of people who watch these videos aren't subscribed? Guys, it's breaking my heart. Let's get those sub numbers up. Back to Cursed Airsoft. This man built a bolt action grenade launcher. Man, I'm convinced if you give an airsofter a big enough 3D printer and enough supplies, they'll probably be able to build a Jaeger from Pacific Rim or some shit. I am genuinely dreading the day I run into an MFR with a 3D printed BTR at my local airsoft field. Let's talk about the red dot that he mounted on this grenade launcher. Like, wh what is it for? What are you aiming at? Nothing. This trend of people mounting optics on their grenade launchers needs to stop. It's dumb. In all seriousness, though, I love airsofters like this guy. They're so smart that they could just make shit like this. The community used to be limited by whatever a replica company wanted to make, but now with 3D printers, airsofters can make whatever their sick little minds desire. It's great. Yup, this is one of the M16s of all time. It looks like a pistol caliber carbine from the 80s. It just kind of looks off from a distance, but if you really analyze it, you realize how cursed this thing is. The magazine is the least sus thing about this M16. The handguard is longer than the barrel, which, why? The optic is on this weird mount that makes it totally flipping useless because it's being blocked by the carry handle why not just mount it on top of the handle and yes the skinny ass mag inserted into a vietnam era m16a1 why honestly cursed in real life but this kind of looks like something from fallout new vegas like it would not look totally out of place in the hands of an ncr soldier that doesn't make it okay First off, dude, sick airsoft collection. That shit looks insane. For the gun, I don't think it's cursed at all. It's actually kind of cool. The, the first thing I thought when I saw this thing is Jaeger shotgun from Tarkov. But it seems like it's based off the American SR-410, which is a similar rifle concept, but just from the United States. This is actually a conversion from a Nerf gun, and I'm genuinely surprised it doesn't look like a total abomination. The base Nerf gun actually looks pretty well designed. Who the hell is out here making these sick-ass Nerf guns, and why weren't they doing it when I was young? Why hasn't anyone made a dedicated airsoft revolver shotgun yet i feel like it's a totally missed opportunity this thing would be perfect for a hunt showdown cosplay nah bro stop how do you somehow make a gun that manages to insult two different cultures at once this thing is literally the worst in every way i don't even know where to start the pp bison is one of my favorite guns ever but i know its major downside is that fat helical mag it legit makes the gun so unwieldy so to go and to add it to an m4 for the shits and giggles is mind-boggling it's also weirdly shaped, so the amount of internal gearbox work as well as the external modeling needed to make this thing work is astronomical. All just to have this abomination. I swear, these airsofters be some of the most technically skilled individuals, but they throw away their time sticking a bison mag into an M4. This looks like a IRL theoretical Tarkov Max Ergo Chippa Rhino. This is unfathomably cursed. It has the legendary canted foregrip mount, which I always thought looked sick in game, but there is no way that it's actually nice to use in real life. I'm not even talking about it being on this thing because I don't even want to think about how you'd actually hold this thing when you want to shoot it. But like on a normal gun, it, it has to be like totally useless unless you're firing from the hip. Also, let's not skip out on the fact that this dude added these crappy out of place attacks to a gorgeous triple rhino i swear doing shit like this should lower your credit score the caption for this post is my friend sent me this should i stop going to games with him yes bro you should stop doing anything with him he does not understand right from wrong so honestly this is a pretty sick aug build it's got a lot of super sick attachments and it's even hpa so you know this thing shoots well but what the hell is that attachment on the side buddy straight up added a mount on the side of his gun that attaches his phone with what seems to be an iphone thermal camera amount several questions first off there ain't no way that this is a functional thermal thermal devices are very complicated there ain't no way there's a cheap functional thermal you could just plug into your iphone secondly why do you need thermal and airsoft bro 
Who are you playing against? I mean, I guess if dude gets bored, he can scroll through TikTok mid-game as well. This guy's setup reminds me of the Modern Warfare 2 heartbeat sensor attachment. Like, it's kind of got that vibe going, you know what I'm saying? Nice hog, dude. We have another Abomination nerf gun converted for Airsoft. The last nerf gun on this list was cool. This is just terrible. I can't even tell what the base model nerf gun is. It kind of looks like the wingman from Titanfall or Apex Legends, but after being thrown in a blender and drawn on by someone's ADHD mini-human, he taped a suppressor to this thing, and it's not even taped well. He used flipping masking tape. I will give this guy props though because he did message me a picture of it when it wasn't working and I told him that if he did somehow get this thing working that I'd include it in the video. And he did. So props to you, bro. Big looks. By the way, if you have cursed replicas of your own that you want me to feature in these videos, you could send them to me in an email to supervisoreffect at gmail.com or you could DM them to me on Instagram at supervisory underscore effect underscore. And if they're bad enough, I might just include them in the next video. This has to be the most technically advanced airsoft gun I have ever seen. This dude built a full auto airsoft shotgun that actually uses shells and spits them out when he shoots. This thing is definitely menacing with the shells falling out when it shoots, but it also shoots seven BBs a shell. That's just unnecessary, man. The whole shell concept is cool and all, but it's really not practical because you kind of have to go back and pick up all your shells. I mean, this guy is making his own shells, so he probably doesn't care about losing them, but imagine if you bought one of these things and how expensive it would be when you lose a shell. He built this though and i don't want to undercut that 3d printers might genuinely be the future of airsoft if you could use them to print shit like this i can't even tell what pistol that is but it's got a long ass grenade launcher on it the best thing about this abomination is that it actually works i'm not even mad at this it's some super american shit i could imagine joey diaz do wielding these things see this is one of the reasons why i love airsoft you could do some totally nonsensical stupid shit like this to your gun that would only make sense in video games and have it actually work in real life what would this thing even qualify as is it a grenade launcher is it a pistol i think it's more grenade launcher than pistol at this point like it's a grenade launcher with a pistol attachment screw it it's an sbr this is an airsoft adar i know it's literally just an m4 with a different body kit but as a massive tarkov fan i love this thing it's not cursed whatsoever i've actually been wanting to build my own airsoft adar for the longest time but i just never found a practical way to do it because i don't know about you but i'm not good at woodworking but it seems this dude literally 3d printed the furniture and just slapped it on his gun so i might just do that if i ever get my crappy 3d printer working this is what i'm saying guys 3d printers have changed the game when it comes to customizing your airsoft stuff as long as it's done right some of you mfers don't know how to act when you get the 3d printer this is something dr doofenshmirtz would make trying to figure this thing out is about to give me a stroke i call it the mfing strokeinator that does not sound right let's break this down at the core of this thing is a glock that is inserted into a weird pistol chassis that looks kind of like a nerf gun okay it has like 50 tubes running through it one of which runs into a paintball hopper i think the hopper has bbs and it's feeding them down into the drum mag on the gun it's hpa somehow because of course it has to be hpa and it has some random drill battery strapped to it that is powering god knows what the person who made this thing had to be off the freaking evil satan addy or some shit i could have gone my entire life without seeing a beautiful uzi replica turned into a g36 with a body kit okay this is terrible to look at but it's well put together i at least appreciate that he didn't tape the flipping parts on but i simply do not understand the schizoid maniac thoughts that bring you to the conclusion that you need to make a g36 uzi mf and goozy could have literally done anything else made a really cool replica of a gun that hasn't been brought to airsoft yet you have the skill but you decided to make this keep in mind this is like a 500 uzi replica that he did this to like bro just go buy a g36 dude honestly make an apology video for this i don't know if i hate this or not it's another one of those guns that would fit perfectly in fallout but just looks weird in real life the inspiration for this thing is the fallout 3 slash new vegas look of the 10 millimeter pistol and yes it gets the look down but if you didn't know it was inspired by a game you'd think wow this is an abomination. It's a comically sized deagle. It makes no sense. It just takes an already unwieldy weapon and makes it 10 times more unwieldy with a fat front attachment. Y you see what I'm saying? I can appreciate it though, since I am a Fall fan. At least it's inspired by something cool and not a G36 Uzi. This is the extra long Evike Vector and it's a legendary cursed airsoft gun. It might honestly be the best known one as well. Its concept is very simple. It's a stupid long vector. Why they chose to do this to a vector 
vector? I don't know. Evite calls this the anti-SBR vector, and it's being sold for a cool $5,000. It's actually a listing on their website that you could buy now. It features a guarantee that it's CQB legal, a folding stock that makes it slightly easier to store and transport, and 59 glorious precision machined inches of 20 millimeter Picatinny flat top rail space. Imagine how many flashlights you could mount on this thing. Man, I'm starting to think like the people who make these Chris guns, <laughs> and I don't like it. Ever since I've seen this listing, I thought it was a meme listing, but it seems like they actually made a couple of these things, which massive props to Evike for actually making it. I hope that one day I could add it to my collection. How does that even work? This is the single silliest thing I have seen a Desert Eagle do. I'm still stuck on how the mag flies out like that. What is it being pulled out by the force? The internals of this Deagle have to be unrecognizable for it to allow the magazine to do this. The airsoft Desert Eagle is gas blowback, right? And the slide goes all the way back, right? Okay, so does the mag fly out every time you shoot the Deagle? This airsoft gun is so cursed that I don't even have the brain capacity to be mad because I'm sitting here using all my mental power to figure out how it works. Never mind, I just found it. I hate this. The guy who made it is responsible for the break action foul and a whole bunch of other cursed airsoft guns. I want you to know that when they try your ass for crimes against humanity, the prosecution is gonna bring out your airsoft collection and you'll be cooked. That, that's it, guys. That's all I could take, at, at least until next year. Which one of these cursed airsoft guns do you guys think is the worst? I don't even know. They're all terrible. Comment, like, subscribe, do all the good stuff. Remember, you're worth it. Have a good day and you already know. Go gym!